I definitely think he goes back up to 70. I was very surprised to see him down at 160 this weekend. As to how it impacts his ranking, that's got to be something. Obviously, pound to be a pound tough one to figure out. Fight. Yeah, definitely going to impact pound to pound. Cody's going to Cody's going to go high in pound to pound, especially based he, off this. On the shot right away. And the other thing is, yeah, Cody's not a small 45. No, not at all. But he's not a full-time 160. He'll be at 65 kilos next weekend for juniors. Right, which is 43. So he's much closer to a 45 pounder. Cody's one of the most disciplined Look, in his diet. Looking like Trent Hydley right here. The way he's trying to go with this underhook. Cody has one of the coolest mixes of styles that I've ever seen. He started off when he was young. Was oh, great knee pick there from the midi. That was has made him so dangerous. I mean, it's always what, what made him dangerous, but it's why everyone is now clamoring for this match with Patty Gallagher between him and uh, Hamidi and Gallagher. Because the ability to create offense from there and frequently put guys on their backs. The other thing this does for Hamidi is, you know, Cody's pace and physicality, he works better from ahead. Right. Right. We haven't seen him from behind it in a very long time. Right. Um, but like I was saying, Cody, when he was little, he was just a very aggressive, high-paced wrestler. And, you know, would occasionally get kicked out of tournaments. He was, <laughs> he was that aggressive. And um, since then, he's developed really good high mat IQ. He's developed really slick takedowns. And, and then outside of that, he's just a high-level mind, high-level wrestler. And so the balance between really slick takedowns, like he scored that elbow shrug at his number one, and his aggressiveness is a great balance. So we got Stalkhole here against Minions. And, you know, talk about Illinois. Oftentimes criticized for concentrating so much on neutral. But Hamidi for here, Super 32, um, you know, and, and in his state title runs for Juliet Catholic, has proven to be very good on top. Yeah. And I think both him on, and Cody. Joel Vandeveer kind of bucked that trend for Illinois. For sure. Especially with, you know, you know, a lot of coaches will talk about guys who are tall can have an advantage on top. Right, for sure. It's, it's, it's easier for them. Cody just smacked the crap out of him. That, that's another thing about Hamidi. He, he seems to not get flustered much. Yeah, um, which you're going to need to rest on Cody. Hamidi also has a very good belly wizard that... Uh, with Seth Gross, I'm curious to see how that That's improves. true. He's heading to Wisconsin. That's very close to a takedown. He's got the hands locked, so it's going to be a... It's going to be a tough for this to get scored. It's close to, but it's going to be tough for this to get scored. He's got to get off his head, though. Minus 23 left here, Sam. Midi up 3-0. Let, let me add that point. <laughs> Sometimes when guys get cut, I forget to add the point. Here's another shot from, from Chittum. So Jim's been doing a great job getting to the legs off that high C, but then um, has kind of been stuffed down to the mat, and then he's going to take a 5-0 lead now. This is, this is the biggest lead. I don't remember somebody having this big of a lead on Cody. You know, I don't know how long. And this is the thing, man. Like at this point, Hamidi's bonusing all comers right now. Yeah. Everybody who's getting in the mat, with, you know, on the mat with him is getting bonus right now. Yeah. Shit, still trying to stage a comeback though, but again, getting extended. Hamidi glides quite a bit. He and does. He gets attacked. It's not like an ugly, heavy snap go behind. He kind of glides backward and then, you know, drag or something to finish on top. Is he looking for the bow or for the cradle there? Hamidi's coming out of this weekend with a high ranking. 
His pound for pound, he has to be top 10. I mean... So Chim's going to take bottom. I mean, the, com the comeback still... There's a chance for it. Maybe but Mays put it pretty much out of reach. Maybe would have to fall off a cliff. He would. He would. I just don't see that happening. Chittum doesn't really have too many big feet to back moves. He doesn't have many big feet to back moves, and he, because of the way the match is going, he hasn't been able to work his pace as much. Right. You saw there that that snap to. Fong oh, no! one fleeing there. I don't like when that gets called. I got called for that one time. And I another re-attack for Hamidi makes it 9-2. I, I honestly think a cut would be smart here. I do too. I mean, you get a major on Cody Chan. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's high-level stuff right there. Cut him right here. So maybe keeping that foot in with the college out of bounds rules. What's he saying? Something about trying for it. Chin him up and out here after the optional start from the midi. Coach Benoon. Basically summarize what everyone who's watching this match is thinking, which is Cody you don't have to always dive for it and, and, and reach so far. Which is how he's ended up in these positions as Hamidi doubles off. Hamidi was so clean there. And Hamidi said, I'm not going to cut him here. Man, who would have expected this? I don't know if anybody picked this up. Yeah, we, we need we need Hamidi Gallagher. Make it happen. Wisconsin and Ohio, which I mean Illinois and Ohio. Let your kids have a special meet when Hamidi can wrestle Gallagher. We need this figured out. The energy is lost. So we have another match where many yeah. Welcome to Atlanta, jacking hammers and bows. Back to the mackin' and jacking the clothes. Adolescent 